Let's give our audience a bit of a sense then of one of those pilots you were saying. It's almost like a sort of Top Gun uh, person, a real pilot, uh, Ryan Graves. This is what he said. In 2014, I was an F-18 Foxtrot pilot in the Navy Fighter Attack Squadron 11, the Red Rippers. After upgrades were made to our jet's radar systems, we began detecting unknown objects operating in our airspace. During a training mission in Warning Area Whiskey 72, 10 miles off the coast of Virginia Beach, two F-18 Super Hornets were split by a UAP. The object, described as a dark gray or a black cube inside of a clear sphere, came within 50 feet of the lead aircraft and was estimated to be 5 to 15 feet in diameter. Now that's some pretty interesting and serious testimony in my ears uh, when it comes to this. And you talk it there about government cover-up, which is actually one of the sort of uh, topics uh, why we had this hearing. It's been also called, quote, administrative terrorism. You said the UK government is complicit in that. Of course, they're not here to uh, give any kind of counter to that. But we're going to listen to your point of view on it or the facts that you've gathered. But the thing that I sort of pricked my ears up over the last week when I've been receiving all this commentary online was uh, this idea of Don't Look Up, which, of course, is that movie about people not taking climate change seriously, notably TV shows like this one. Um, and I take climate change very seriously. And off the back of that congressional hearing, took UFOs more seriously as well. So what is it you need to do, you think, to get people to continue to take this topic seriously and see it for the interest that it has? Well, I, I commend you, Rosanna, because this is what exactly we need to do, is bring people up to date with what we know, what we think, and what we're trying to find out. So I really like that you referenced that movie because this is nothing new. People have been coming forward for a long time. There's just now an official process to protect whistleblowers under a Presidential Protection Act. So people, this is legislation. And that legislation wasn't made out of a void. This is so people can come forward and say, I have been complicit in this cover up about UFOs, that this has been happening for a long time. It's ubiquitous across the globe. And it presents not only safety of flight issues, but also issues with deployments, issues with nuclear weapons. This is well documented that there has been interference from unknowns, from craft of unknown origin that outpace, outmaneuver, and outperform anything we have in our arsenal, as well as the UK arsenal, and how I say and why I say that the UK is, is involved in this is because of the Five Eyes Alliance, because I released with my mentor in journalism, George Knapp, evidence and proof of this from Canada, that there is something called the, the Foreign uh, Technologies Program, that is absolutely 100% working on these reverse engineering programs of UAPs. It's called the Foreign Materials Program, the Five Eyes Foreign Materials Program. And this was a, a, a minister, a parliamentary member from Canada that wrote this letter in deep concern. So this is something the UK, the US, the Five Eyes Alliances have all been working on. And this has been going on for a long time. So what has to happen now? is we need to reduce the stigma. No more X-Files, no more tinfoil hats. Again, put on your battle helmets. What's important now is that we find out the ground truth on UFOs. We know UFOs are real. We know there are machines that are far more advanced than what we have. And this is nothing new. Th these have been reported, reported before the Wright brothers went into the, to the sky, before human beings had flight. This has been reported by pilots, by, by military. Some of these accounts, they go back to before there was even a Pentagon. So now we have to have this conversation soberly. We need to discuss the facts because our sensor systems, it's not just pilots anymore telling you this. Mm. The pilots are simply corroborating what's on their shared AI radar. This is something that's being picked up. This is something that we have corroborative visual evidence of, a lot of which I have produced and put to the public through leaks that came to me. They have been verified by our Department of Defense. So everybody, what you can do is start paying attention. Keeping those eyes open and having sober discussion of facts and taking a listen to some of those clips in the congressional hearing. They're fascinating. And Jeremy, it's been a fascinating discussion. Thank you so much for making time to speak to us again. Anytime, I really appreciate you. People got it wrong. You're doing your job. You're reporting the news. And this is the biggest story of all time. Thanks, Jeremy.